today is the day. Today I am selling one of my cars. I might end up actually selling more than one car, but today, today we're just focusing on selling one car. I appreciate all the comments in the last video because, oh my gosh, this has not been an easy decision, but first we gotta go. All right, I missed you, baby. Let's cold start. Let's do a cold start. <laughs> Just a little break. Okay. So we're gonna grab the vent, we're gonna grab the Bronco, and uh, you guys may or may not understand what that means, but well, we gotta go ahead over the Shibi race because we have something fun, and then we gotta head over to West Coast Exotics for something not so fun. The funny thing is, I drive this Ford Bronco the most out of any of the cars in the fleet. I did not think I would love this car as much as I do. Okay, let's grab the vent, let's grab the Bronco, and get on the road. I cannot do it, I cannot do it, I cannot do it! <laughs> my home away from home. I have to give a huge congratulations to Soto and the Sheepy Race team because this right here just set the world record for the highest horsepower DCT R8. Unbelievable. What kind of horsepower did you guys put down? Do you, do you know? But it was like 24, we could say 24 on the dot. This is the highest horsepower car that's been out of this building for sure. It should go seventh, no problem. So here's the deal and here's what is happening today. Long story short, the C8 engine probably needs to go back to Texas speed for that LT2 to be freshened up. But we figured since we have to do that anyways, and we probably need to pull out the clutches again, that why not just send her? So we happen to be in the area and Soto just happens to have this hub dyno and we just happen to have all the race fuel we could possibly need. We thought, why not just put the kill tune on, the tune that we originally broke the world record on this Mustang dyno and try it on a hub dyno because the hub dynos are actually gonna read a little bit higher because you're not gonna run into the tire slip issue that we had last time. Why not, right? And if the motor goes, we're gonna send it out anyways. <laughs> All right, let's get this on the hub dyno. The guys here are gonna water up for us. You're lucky I like you guys. I'm gonna help you guys out. <laughs> but can't because you're at West Coast Exotic selling one of your cars. Well, with Hunting Clash, you can hunt anytime, anywhere. The best mobile hunting game in the App Store as we speak. This hunting game is known for its incredibly fun feeling of actually hunting in the wild. No need to step outside when you can hunt from the comfort of your own home or anywhere. This game has got you covered. Hunting Clash has one of the most realistic graphics for a mobile game. It's like having the wilderness at the tip of your fingers. Nothing but fun traveling around the world with dozens of animals to hunt and tons of options to upgrade your weapons. Oh, and did I forget to mention you get your own hunting buddy too? A dog! That means Uni is ready to rock and roll and you can train your hunting dog and compete with other hunters. You and your dog, literally, will be hunting across the world, upgrading your skills, which is probably the most fun part of the game. As I mentioned, there are weekly competitions against other players as well. Take this as a chance to upgrade your skills and show off your hunting abilities. For my amazing viewers, you get this special code Hunt with Amelia, which gives you a lot of cool freebies. You get 100 gold, 70 skill tokens, and two mythical loot cards valued at $15. You can also join my clan to Unishiva Club. So with that said, support me by clicking the link below or scanning the QR code and download Hunting Clash today. Remember, use my code Hunt with Amelia and get hunting. Now, let's get back to the episode. First time on a hub dyno. We just imported the proper kill tune. We're not gonna set her yet. We're gonna put her in dyno mode and then we're going to make sure that everything's calibrated correctly. Now I'm gonna do a pull. Right now what I'm doing 
as I'm checking any codes. Now let me see if I can pull up some data and maybe we do a poll while looking at the trans data to see, maybe we can see input. Hit 3000, give it gas, and then I'll, I'll hit the space bar as soon as I hear it. Got the live data going. Let's give this another shot. Oh, it's definitely flying low now. We just did 600 at gate pressure, which is nine pounds. We're gonna do another pull. And we'll see what we do. If everything feels and drives great, we'll up the boost. Oh, everything looked good there. 716, okay. So we're getting somewhere. Let's throw yep. our boost at it. Let the car cool down. So let's see what happens. Nine four five. It's a nine thousand, but I think we can get there. Possible. In fact, we post made a Taco Bell for the car. That's the type of beans we're going for. So I'm hopping on Team Viewer with Pites right now so he can take a look at everything. Maybe he'll see something that we're not looking at. Pites was able to confirm what we believed and what we saw after pulling the heads off that we're just, it's blow by and we're not able to make more power off that. It's pretty neat with the blow by that we're experiencing and blowing spark out that we clocked 1116, which some people aren't even able to see that on their Corvettes yet. I'm glad we tried it. We were in the area. We thought, why not? We stayed here a lot later than we thought because once you get in it, it's just fun and it's exciting. West Coast Exotics, we're here. In the past six years, I have sold one car. That's kind of mind blowing if you think about it, but today, unfortunately, I do have to let one car go. If the shop is too small, I'm running out of space, I have too many cars, which is a great problem to have, but in the world of automotive content creation, buying cars is actually an investment to me. So when I'm able to sell a car and make money off of it, I'm gonna take the opportunity. So we're selling the Bronco. I hate to do it. I love this car. At least for now, it's time to sell. I can make some good money on her that I can use to invest into something bigger in the future. So right now, the opportunity just makes sense for me to do. Let's just rip this bandaid off and get over it. But before we do, she's a little bit dirty and I want to give her a quick little wipe down. And that is thanks to Hartford Limited Car Care. You guys, if I'm almost empty on my bottle, that means you guys are almost empty on yours at home. We have full inventory back in stock, plus some new products coming soon. Go to hartfordltd.com and purchase some car care. And I'm still donating 10% of all proceeds to the Girls Inc. Foundation. They help empower women in their lives and in their careers. It's an incredible foundation. I'd recommend you guys go check it out. This Bronco's got more windows than Bill Gates. And Stevie Wonder always said, see in his believing. So let me just show you how all this product works. And if you don't have the quick detail, you can just do a little buff out and leave no streaks. And that's why you can't sell to criminals because it doesn't leave fingerprints. And now that she is all nice and clean, it is time to bring her inside West Coast Exotics where she will live for the remaining foreseeable future until her new owner takes her home. This is such a trip. I can't believe I'm actually doing this. I feel like this is kind of my dream Bronco build. I did everything aside from the coyote swap that I wanted to do on her. I think if I get another Bronco, it'll probably be an older one. I'm just such a fan of the vintage Broncos. Into the garage at Supercars you go! <laughs> now it's just deciding what we're going to be buying next.
Of course, another C8 Corvette shows up and the owners, John, JD Built It and Libby are selling it in preparation for a Z06. While the prices are high, I don't blame you, but they're inside right now. They also just gave me jack pads for my C8 Corvette. So instead of the poly ones we've been using, these are just some nice red billet jack pads. Look at this. That is so nice and so much more low profile than the ones that we have. Thank you so much for the gift. Glad we ran into each other today. Let's go sell a Bronco. Let's go sell a Bronco. Bronco hey. time. Man, it's sad. I actually fell in love with this Bronco. I didn't think I would love it as much as I ended up liking it. I'm properly impressed by them too. Honestly, I, I drove one for the first time probably a week after they came out and it met like every expectation. And also guys, if you guys see the video and you're interested in the Bronco, call, don't wait for it to go online. It will sell. Our cars sell generally before they go online, before even photos are taken. But all right, we got paperwork and stuffs to do, so let's uh, let's go handle that. Operation, fa operation failed. Don't do it. You're gonna lock it out again. <laughs> <laughs> The Bronco is here inside of the showroom and it is time to list her for sale. There we go. I hope you go to a good home. It's been fun, it's been real. You know, now that the Bronco is officially for sale, it's time to start thinking about what I'm going to buy next instead and I have an idea. This R8 is just staring at me every single time I come here. If she is, do we get a discount off of your car? Bigger discount? 5,000 less if you, if you meet Amelia. <laughs> I'll give you half. She's right here. Hello. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> It's like seeing Elvis. <laughs> I know. Hey. I saw this pulled up too. I was like, yeah, look at that clean SCA. What are you doing here? Okay, I'm here in downtown LA for my first shoot of the day for Muse Magazine. All right, you guys, we're here at the shoot for Muse and I want to do a couple quick introductions. One, this is Rachel from the PR team. And this is Anthony. He's going to be shooting this. There's a lot of awesome, exciting looks that we're talking about doing. We have Suzanne doing hair and makeup today and Celine with the fashion, with the styling. We're gonna jump into doing some makeup right now and then I will show you guys the first look. Here we go. All right, you guys, so we are here at our next and final location, and I'm about to show you the coolest warehouse, live in space, that you have ever seen in your life. This is my buddy Jones's place. He lives here, he works here, and this is his 68 Camaro. It is LS soft on forged line wheels, a tubbed rear end, and take a look at this. It is so clean, and it's covered in dust. It runs, so you do drive it. I yeah. see him drive it a lot. Just right now, she's covered a little bit of dust. We're even having nightmares about crashing, so I'm like, I'm oh, not no. <laughs> It's dusty as shit right now. It's embarrassing. I'm That's alright. Well, we'll find an excuse to bring this out soon. Got a Harley Davidson and a golf cart with bullhorns. This thing rips. This is my favorite, and I aspire to have something like this. His bedroom is up there, he has a gym up there, his workshop is back there, and then this is the studio where all the magic happens. This is where we shot the billboard for Motul Oils, and this is where we're shooting the campaign for announcing the partnership that we had in the launch of Motul Oils' first DCTF fluid, which was tested on the C8 Corvette. Development was done on the C8 Corvette. Field testing was done on the C8 Corvette, and the Corvette was the highest horsepower and torque yielding DCT vehicle that the fluid's ever been tested on. So that's a pretty cool thing to say and to have my name attached to it is honestly just humbling. So we're gonna be doing a shoot today for that. I got the race suit. Shout out to OMP for sending me a new suit that actually fits. Yeah, let's make magic happen. It's not where the magic happens. The magic happens. <laughs> oh God, I do get that <laughs> What a crazy day, but even more craziness to come. So make sure you subscribe if you don't already, and I'll see you on the next episode. Ikuro, we out here with love. Bye. <laughs>